A Common Stage, Theater and Public Life in Medieval Eras, by Carol Symes. In A Common Stage, Theater and Public Life in Medieval Eras, Carol Symes delves into the intricate relationship between theater and public life during the medieval era in Eras. This captivating exploration provides valuable insights into the cultural and societal dynamics of the time, shedding light on how theater served as a medium for expressing and shaping the communal identity of Eris inhabitants. Symes begins by highlighting the multifaceted role of theater in Eris. She underscores how, far from being an isolated form of entertainment, theater was deeply ingrained in the daily life of the city. It was a shared experience that transcended social boundaries, bringing together individuals from various walks of life. Through this lens, Symes elucidates the broader societal context in which medieval heiress theater flourished. One of the central themes Symes emphasizes is the concept of the common stage. She argues that the theater in Eris was not merely a space for performances but a communal platform where the people of Eris came together to engage with the issues of the day. This common stage served as an arena for the expression of public opinion, a reflection of the city's collective consciousness. Through the analysis of various historical records and documents, Symes compellingly illustrates how theater in Eris functioned as a mirror of the city's social and political milieu. Symes also delves into the performative aspects of theater in Eris. She highlights the participatory nature of these performances, where the audience actively engaged with the plays, often interrupting or even shaping the narrative. This interactive dynamic between the actors and the audience played a significant role in fostering a sense of collective identity among the citizens. Symes' meticulous examination of these performative elements demonstrates how theater was not a passive form of entertainment but a dynamic and participatory medium through which the people of Eris articulated their thoughts and sentiments. Furthermore, Symes sheds light on the religious and moral dimensions of medieval Eris theater. She argues that while theater was a vehicle for entertainment, it also carried a didactic purpose. Through moralizing and religious plays, the community sought to reinforce and transmit its values and beliefs. Symes underscores the profound impact of these plays on the spiritual and ethical development of Eris inhabitants, thereby revealing the intricate intertwining of theater and religious life. The author also addresses the practical aspects of theater production in Eris, emphasizing the role of civic authorities in regulating and supporting theatrical performances. Symes illustrates how the city government played a pivotal role in shaping the theatrical landscape, from selecting appropriate themes to ensuring the moral integrity of the plays. This highlights the close relationship between political authorities and the cultural expression of the city's inhabitants. Throughout the book, Symes draws on a rich array of primary sources, including records, manuscripts, and chronicles, to construct a comprehensive picture of medieval heiress theater and its relationship with public life. Her meticulous research and thoughtful analysis provide a deep understanding of the complexities of this era. In conclusion, A Common Stage, Theater and Public Life in Medieval Eras, by Carol Symes offers a compelling exploration of the symbiotic relationship between theater and public life in medieval eras. Symes convincingly argues that theater was not a passive form of entertainment but a dynamic and participatory medium that served as a common stage for the people of Eris to express their thoughts, beliefs, and communal identity. Through meticulous research and insightful analysis, Symes sheds light on the cultural, social, and political dimensions of Eris theater, enriching our understanding of medieval European history and the role of theater in shaping public discourse.